Fellow Raiden mains far and wide gather around because we need to mourn our boy who just got massively nerfed. And as a Raiden main and who's been a Raiden main for, for quite some time, we enjoyed the spotlight while we could. Dude, I feel like NRS always goes like, you know, to the top and always goes gung-ho for like nerfs and buffs. I think Raiden needed a slight nerf, but I feel like they overstepped a little bit with this one. So let's go ahead and talk about it. What was the nerfs? How does it affect his gameplay and all that? Well, the biggest one that you need to know about is his electromagnetic storm, otherwise we call it storm cell. As you can see, it's still mid, it still does damage on block, but on hit, it actually does 27 less damage than it did before. Not only that, but it actually will not catch and pull in airborne opponents. And you might think, oh, okay, well, when they land, they'll just get hit, and that's true. But if you're fighting a raid and just jump and then punish them on the way down, you're not gonna get hit by it. So again, it's actually easy to get out of now. It won't hit you in the air unless you're already in the combo. So again, if you put an opponent in the combo, then yeah, the storm cell pulls them in and actually hits them. Them, but if they're not in the combo and you try to throw it out there, they can now just jump over it, land and punish you. So be careful on that. You no longer want to just like throw it out there, especially on block stun. That part, you know what? I'm not gonna lie. I kind of agree with like, it is a very offensive tool and very defensive tool in that case as well. So then making it where it can be still used offensively, but when it comes to you, the defender, being able to get out of that, I kind of get it. I kind of get it. Don't worry. I understand. Also, if you miss the electric fly move, you actually have eight more frames on recovery. So you don't really want to throw that out there either to just kind of you know get across the stage because now you're recovering eight frames slower and an opponent's like teleport projectile will probably now hit you so you really just want to use that in a combo if possible just for a good combo ender more damage stuff like that it already was super punishable on block and now it's even more punishable on whiff also you know raiden's razzle dazzle move the down back to how it does zero damage well now it has one more frame on startup five more frames on block stun but it does have a bit more pushback on block and it does got decent range so you can see we're gonna hit it again and keep pushing our opponent away from us so that's kind of cool kind of a decent way to get your opponent away from you a little bit if you want to create that space even when they're blocking still not a bad tool also you know how raiden has that ability to have that electric charge on on blocking so if he's blocking quite a lot of hits he's gonna get that electric charge like this his eyes are glowing what that means for us as a raiden player we take now less chip damage than we normally would now that electric charge now takes twice as long to actually become active so you have to block twice as many hits for that to actually be active. But when that is active, your Razzle Dazzle move gains more stun and more pushback on block. But he did get a slight buff when it comes to the Enhanced Razzle Dazzle because now you can actually combo off of it. So we're just gonna do the Enhanced Razzle Dazzle. As you can see, our opponent has a little bit of a like carry in the air, allowing you for a cameo to pop him back up to continue a combo. So here's how a combo off of that might look. That is kind of a buff because now it actually brings use to the enhanced version of Razzle Dazzle. Whereas before the only use that I actually found was a side switch to allow you to put your opponent in the corner. That was really about it. But now we can finally combo off of it. So that's a small buff, I guess. So the Storm Cell got nerfed. Fly move has more recovery on whiff. Razzle Dazzle has one more frame on startup. The electric charge takes twice as long to actually come into effect, but now we can combo off our enhanced Razzle Dazzle. That's, uh, that's pretty cool. All in all, I do see the reason why they brought these changes. Well, at least most of them. I don't see why they had to make the electric charge twice as long to actually come into effect. That's a bit weird to me. I don't know why they did that part, but for the most part, I do understand these changes. I don't think it absolutely destroyed Raiden. I do think it was a tad excessive, just a little bit. Am I biased? Probably. I know a lot of you guys in the comments already are typing and be like, oh, well, you need to get good anyways because Raiden carried you through everything. Stop coping. It's okay. There's a lot of scrappy characters and a lot of fighting games. I've been a Raiden main for literally years, so I'm going to continue to play a Raiden no matter what. Even if he did get destroyed, I'd still play him. Let me know your thoughts down below. What do you think of these Raiden changes? Are you a Raiden main? And if you are, do you agree with them? Do you disagree with them? And if you're not, then I don't really care. <laughs> Subscribe here for more Mortal Kombat and fighting game content and go ahead and click into these videos next for more news guides tutorials and more